Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Paul. If Sagittarius is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your tarot card reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. It is totally free. It does not cost you anything. If there is anything you would like me to pray over or meditate upon or send positive energy toward, please let me know. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Sagittarius, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And five of pentacles, things are out of place right now. Feels like there's a lot of movement. A lot of things are um, going on. It feels kind of like one of these, you put something where it belongs and then something else gets pushed out. You know, it's kind of like everything's a magnet that's turned kind of the wrong way. Uh, you push something into the circle and another thing kind of pops out of, out of line. Um, trying to squeeze too many things together that something pops out. We got that to fit, but then that pops out the other side, right? So I feel that's kind of the position that you're in right now. We're trying to get everything in place, trying to get everything where it needs to go. Once you fix something, then something else kind of goes wrong. You get that pushed back in, then something else pops out of joint, you know? Uh, so I feel like there's really something in your physical, mechanical world right now, a lot of different parts, a lot of moving pieces here. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. Let's put that into some context. Emperor energy. Yes, leadership. Uh, power, control, authority. This might be an energy, too, that's kind of saying we might, we might need a little bit of... Uh, assistance you know the emperor doesn't have to do everything themselves right there we got that ace this is kind of the whole the whole puzzle the whole piece that we're looking for this is what we want it to be we want it to be one whole kind of situation one organized functional flowing harmonious rhythmic kind of thing but what we have is everything popping out of the sides and it's not you know not staying together and the emperor is, is really trying to fix that. This, this is really kind of what we expect. This is what we get. We have this desire underneath everything for this wholeness, right? For everything to be just kind of one, everything to work together. Why can't things just get along, right? Um, ideally, we thought that everything would find its place. Everything would fit together. And it would be this very harmonious, very brilliant situation. We had this great idea that it was going to work flawlessly. It's not working flawlessly, right? And I think we've, we've all been there, right? Where we have just this vision. I, just, I can see it now, how beautiful it will be. When we get it, it's like, oh, man. Like, it's not quite what we pictured, right? Not quite what was advertised to us. But interesting that we've got this ace of pentacles down beneath the surface because we add that to our five and what do we get? We get that perfect picture. So it's kind of like we, we have this underlying um, perhaps belief or hope that yes, everything will fall into place, right? Let's keep going. Let's put the rest of our cards out. We've got art or temperance, which by the way, is your power card. So this is very significant. We got to ring the bell. Anytime we get a power card, we're going to ring that bell because this meant to get your attention. Spirit has put this power card here to basically ring a bell to get you to look at the screen and open your ears and clean out your eyes, right? Um, because this is significant. This is, I think, a sign that, yes, this is the key that will get everything to fit together perfectly. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Um, this is this is for you to discover. You have that power within you. And I think maybe it's through this emperor kind of energy where, yes, we maybe we have to um, get somebody else to push from that end. We'll push from over here and eventually everything will just click into place. Right. And maybe this is something that you're trying to do 
alone. You know, maybe there's there's not. Um, yeah, as soon as I said alone, there we've got that single one ace of wands in the position of the environment. It could be that you are doing, you're trying to do everything here, that you're a one person show. Yeah. Oh, 10 of pentacles. Yes. I think this is finally, right? Finally, everything is falling into place. It is through your efforts, but these are major arcana cards. It's through you working in, in, in tandem with spirit. Okay. And this is something, this is a very earthly project, right? Earth, 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 earth. Even the emperor is that kind of uh, the earthly authority, right? And all of this earth energy, all of this manifestation, it, it's really leading to you expressing something that transcends earth. It's water, right? So it's through all of this physical manifestation, these physical accomplishments, that you are going to be able to express your soul, your creativity, your vision, your love, your light out into the world. That's really spectacular. I like the I like the sound of that. Let's select the mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. This is a random card. This is the factor infinite and unknown. Oh, but a little bit of strength never hurt anybody. Let's try that again and select one mystery card. And that'll do it. We're going to put Tiny Bob Ross right there on top. We're not going to look at that card until the very end. But, you know, it'll tie everything together, I promise. It will give us our confirmation. Um, if at any point during this program you feel like you know what that card is, I want you to put your prediction down in the comments. We're going to make it interactive. I want us all to exercise our intuition. I guarantee over time you will get better and better at predicting that card. Okay? We've got to practice. All right. Uh, <clears throat> let's look at this again. Major Arcana major arcana and a little a little strength on the side right no pun intended uh, so the major arcana here is very fiery right this is emperor this is aries fiery energy this of course is your power card sagittarius fire this strength card is leo fire 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 there's a trio of fire energy not just one but it could be that and i also want to point out we have the fire to earth we have that instant spiritual uh, circuit, uh, electrical circuit of creation here with our fire and earth. So that's a very good sign. Uh, but since we have three, it's kind of telling me that there needs to be uh, some sort of delegation here, right? That this is something that we have to be completely, we have to be functioning as one unit. But there's different components of this thing. And maybe we're talking about people out in your life that you need to actually, that there's, if there's a group of you, somebody's not pulling their weight, right? If there's a group of you, somebody's not doing the right thing. So go look at what everybody else is doing. Maybe they just don't have their hand in the right place as they're trying to align this puzzle and put all the pieces together. Maybe that's, it's, maybe it's as simple as that, that we just need to change our technique and then boom, everything fits, right? But I also wonder if this is, if this trinity that we see of this fire energy is, is within you, right? I wonder if there's some part of you that is just kind of not paying attention right now. You know, uh, we have our will, we've got the fire energy, we've got our, our heart, you know, we've got our emotional energy, um, the mind. Right? When we have a trinity, when we, let's say we have a three of wands, right? we usually say, well, that's going to be our, our idea, that's going to be our intention, our, our will. And then we've got our thinking and our feeling, our beliefs and our values. You know? And that trinity has to be a unity, has to be one. Right? But it's, it's three so that we can see the different faces of it. Right? And I wonder if this trinity that's within you, this will, and then this thinking and this feeling, you know, beliefs and values. I wonder if there's an issue, perhaps, I don't think there's an issue with the feelings. I think you feel this, you know, you're, you're very excited. You love what it's going to uh, um, open up for you in the future. But the mind, there's some sort of conflict in, in your mental energy. And that's why the Prince of Swords is in the position of the obstacle. This is what we have to overcome. Maybe there's doubt. Maybe we're kind of second guessing. Maybe it's like we're focused on here and oh yeah, we're putting these pieces together, but 
really you're you're paying attention to something over here. It's like you're staring at the TV when you're supposed to be doing your math homework. You know, and then we wonder why we can't get these equations to work out. We wonder why um, it seems like these pieces aren't fitting together. Yeah. So there might be a little bit of distraction for you. It could be even that there's this other person in your life that's kind of eyeing something else while they're supposed to be focusing on, on what they're doing with you. Maybe this is a work thing. Maybe this is something with family members, friends, uh, whatever it might be. Okay. But whatever it is, I feel like you're the leader of it. I don't feel like anybody's working against you, but I feel like you've got to You've got to pay attention to what everybody else is doing. See, that's kind of the role of the emperor here. It's kind of just having to oversee everything. Now, a good emperor, a good pharaoh, is going to be out there on the chariot, on the front lines, doing the work too. Okay? But at the same time, making sure that you have people in place around you that can keep their eyes on everybody else so that you don't have to. All right. It depends really on your situation. Um, but I, I kind of feel as if you're, you're the one having a little bit of second thoughts here. You know? And um, it's almost like we're trying not to let anybody see that we might have doubts about this. And I think, yeah, if you're here in this five of, of pentacles kind of situation where things are just not fitting together the way they're supposed to, that for some reason, this, this thing just won't click into place, whether it's a business plan, a project, whether it's something creative, um, whether you're in a band, maybe something is just, there's just the harmony's not quite there. And, um, you seem like you believe in it. You seem like you are all in that you're focused and concentrated. You've got your ace, of wands in the environment. So to me, then when we have this card next, it kind of feels like there's a little bit of doubt in you, but you're not letting anybody else see that. Because the pieces don't really seem to fit together, we're still trying, but part of us is starting to say, mm, maybe this isn't going to work, you know? But if we look on the other side of that, if we say, okay, yeah, maybe these things, maybe it's not going to work. No, be quiet, mind. Uh, what we have is absolute success and fulfillment. This is, not only is this thing um, fitting together and harmonizing and resonating and functioning in this rhythmic, fluid kind of way, but it's really bringing in the bucks, right? It's really doing, it's, this is greater than you ever could have imagined. And so I think the message here is don't doubt yourself. The pieces will come together. Everything will finally fall into place. All right. But this is your vision. This, again, is kind of what we expected it to be like. We, we figured maybe it would be perfect. Well, yeah, we all kind of want to assume that, you know. Uh, any situation that we're going into, whether it's a work thing, a creative thing, a spiritual practice even, we're kind of, we're saying this is best case scenario. And let's hope for the best. Let's shoot for the absolute best. Let's just, let's believe it. Let's go for, you know, we go into a situation with that confidence that this is going to be the absolute, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be flawless. There's not going to be a, a problem anywhere. And then, of course, there's a problem somewhere and we deal with it. We restore the harmony that we've lost. We bring in that fix. We do what we have to do to get things going, but we don't let this fact, we don't let this fact, or, sorry, wrong fact. We don't let this fact throw us completely for a loop, you know, mentally, in this case anyway, because of this air energy. Because this is air energy that doesn't really have a viewpoint. It is really just kind of, it's just fuzz. This is just static. If it was a one, an, an ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a ten of swords, we could deal with it because we kind of know what it is. But this is just confusing. It's just haziness. Okay? So that's preventing us really from seeing what the solution is. Spirit's got you, right? Your power card is up here, and this is really, this is ringing the bell, and this is saying, hey, look, the answer is going to come to you. The solution is going to appear before you. Um, what we've got to try to do is, is just quiet down this fuzz. You know, this is like a, um, 
like a foggy window in your car. You just need to wipe it down and so you can see through it. Okay, it's just obstructing your view of the success, the solution, the future, the best life, the really, the yes, this is actually going to be beyond perfect. See, this was the expectation of what it would be like going into it. Well, no, you're going to have work to do, right? If it was going to be this easy, then what's the point of doing it? it just It would just be there and there'd be, it would cancel itself out, right? So in order for us to have a six of pentacles, we need the five plus one or a two plus a three, or, you know, however, a three and a three. I mean, yeah, but not a two. Um, my math is terrible. But we need something to put together to make this happen. Okay. Uh, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments about my terrible math skills, but, you know, you, you get the idea, right? You get the idea. And even if we are maybe doing a three and a two and we only get a five, well, that's okay. There's something to put together. There's something to do. Um, you know, you, you wish for something, you will for something, and then it just appears right before you and it's, okay, well, that was no fun. You know, we think that's what we want, but really we want to have that satisfaction and that's what the Three of Cups is. We want to have the satisfaction, we want to feel the strength, we want to feel the uh, exhaustion from our work, right? I know some days I wish that I could just, you know, um, you ever seen that movie Multiplicity with uh, Michael Keaton? Sometimes I wish I could do that so that my uh, a different version of me can go work the day job, you know, and I can just do this. Um, some days we wish that we could just literally just flip a switch or push a button and have what we want right here before us, right? But the real satisfaction, I think, for you right now comes from doing the work, figuring it out getting past the haziness, getting past the doubt or whatever it is, and getting the solution, getting this thing put together. You know, um, things are much more satisfying when you build it yourself rather than just ordering something that's already perfect. You know, sometimes that's what we need. Sometimes I just want it to show up. I want it to be perfect. I don't want to have to fix it right away as soon as I get it, you know. Um, but whether it's uh, you know, whether it is the satisfaction of cooperating, maybe that is a three and a three. Maybe that's what we need here because we have this three here. Where's the, you know, where's the, um, the compliment to this? Maybe it's the cooperation that we like. Maybe it's the teamwork. Maybe that's the real satisfaction is knowing that we all are doing something together. And sometimes that's it, right? We don't care what we're doing just as long as we're all together and we're all doing it. Yeah, when we're all doing it. Um, so again, it could be, um, could be a, a four and a two. It could be this five and this ace right now. It's the five and the ace, right? And I feel like this is just that it's just one thing. It's just kind of like we ordered something. It came in the mail and we have no idea how to put it together. Maybe we were expecting it to come already assembled, but it didn't. So we have all the pieces we need. We just got to find a way to how do I put it together? And for some reason, we can't read the instructions. Maybe they're in a different language that we, we can't read, right? Maybe our vision is hazy. I don't know. Uh, the point is that everything is going to fall into place. You've got your power card, which is uh, it's the art. It's the temperance card. It's also the card of kind of, of union, right? And so I'm wondering if that's part of this, where we, we kind of want that teamwork. We want we don't want to do it ourselves. We just, we want, we want to ask for help, not because we really need it, but because we want to feel that connection that we're doing something together, you know? Um, I had that experience with my daughter. I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you know that. Um, sometimes I'm doing things, projects, working, doing odds and ends, whatever, you know, just different chores and things. And sometimes I'll just tell her, Hey, you know, Darling, I need some help. Um, I, I can't do this myself. Will you help me? And of course, she loves to help out, right? She absolutely loves it. And um, it's not because I, I need help um, doing whatever I do, uh, something with the car, you know, usually something with the car, cleaning it or fixing it or changing a tire or something, but she wants to help. And it's that feeling of just us doing something together. 
It doesn't matter what we're doing. We're changing a tire. That's no fun. But she wants to help. She wants to hold the lug nuts, right? She wants to bring the towel in uh, for when I get grease all over my hands, that sort of thing. Um, she brings the Band-Aid when I injure myself. Um, and I think that's, that's where the real feeling is. And maybe that's what this night of of cups is just wanting that connection wanting to feel like we're doing something together again doesn't matter what it is some days of course i just want to change the tire myself as quick as i can because it's snowing out or whatever and i just want to get it done right because it's going to take longer when you got other people with you when you it's it's kind of like where you um I don't know, think of another example. You're, uh, you know, you got your buddies together, you're going to paint the house. Well, it might take a while because everybody's talking and hanging out, enjoying each other. There's a lot of laughter. There's a lot of, a lot of love, you know, going back and forth. Yeah, eventually we'll get the house painted, but it's just, we're enjoying the company, right? We're enjoying the company. And that's one way of looking at the six, the five, and the ace, too, is that we, we want it. We thought we were going to enjoy the company, but really we find ourselves maybe alone trying to put this stupid thing together, and we, we can't figure it out. Maybe, this, maybe we realize what actually is missing. Maybe we need an ace of cups, right? Maybe it's not just finding that part that got lost in the box and putting it together. No, maybe what we really want is to say, is to call up some of our friends or family members or your spouse or just get your kids or your pets or something. Hey, come, come help me with this, you know? And then everything does fall into place. And maybe we never get that bookshelf built, right? But we all had a good time trying. Yeah. And that's what I, I think Spirit's kind of saying is that this is a bonding experience. This is a, a learning experience. This is, a, this is an experience. It doesn't matter what you're putting together or whether you succeed or fail, but the fact that we're all trying to do it together and we're all kind of spending time together, right? The good news is that Ten of Pentacles at the end that this is going to work, it is going to come together, and maybe this is one of those things where you kind of do need somebody to come and, and, and help you with it, to just hold the other side of the bookshelf while you screw it together, you know? Um, anyway, so that was a bit of a tangent, I know. But your power card is up here for a reason, and I think that we have to really, we have to be aware of what this, what the union really is. What is the missing piece here? Why does this not, why does this not feel like it has this harmony right now? Is it because you, just you don't know how to put it together because there's some other element missing? Are you starting to have doubts? Is that the, is that what's going on here? Are you just kind of losing interest? Is that what we need? Is that the ace that we need to fix this, to, to bring that five to a six, is, is a fire ace? Or do we just need help holding it together? Do we just need an ace of pentacles? I wonder if this is going to be the ace of cups. I'm kind of thinking it is, especially with that, with the knight of cups here. The strength card would say that, hey, we need to have a little bit of courage uh, to ask for what we need. We need, we have to be able to admit to ourselves in this situation what is it that's missing why is that six of pentacles only a five right what is it going to take to restore the harmony the balance that sense of community that sense of family that sense of cooperation the three of cups over here is your general energy this is what you want it's like you have all this love and all this all this joy you have this thing that you're putting together this project this this music this this experience that you're trying to do and you want somebody to share it with you want to bring in other people. You want to have this kind of, this union to make it, um, maybe make it like a group effort, right? And that Ten of Pentacles, this is going to be successful. This is something that is, is part of your best life, you know, idea. I think it's something that is um, really meaningful to you. And I think maybe this particular bookshelf is just one piece of furniture in the house, you know? Um, but it's very meaningful, and I think it's through this experience, through this bookshelf, that you're learning what's really important to you in this, in this life. So you're learning about what this Ten of Pentacles even is. When we get the Ten of Pentacles, I always say, what is the picture of your best life? What does wealth mean to you? If I asked you to get out a sheet of paper and a pencil and draw a picture of your best life, what would you draw? 
I think through this experience, you're able to answer this question maybe differently, maybe with a little more detail, a little bit more thorough in what we want, right? In what kind of picture? Maybe it's not just, well, I want this thing to be, I want this thing to work. I want a bookshelf that can hold books. Sure. Yeah, we do want that. We do want money. We do want goods. We want a stable uh, and a quality physical life. We want health. We want wealth, you know, in literal terms. But we want something deeper than that, too. We want that sense of connection, that sense of community. We want to have our love and, and share it, you know, to share the experience. The, the Three of Cups, you understand the process of creation on the emotional plane. You know what kind of experience you want, and now it's just finding the right people, the right environment, that finding that other three to connect to make that six. All right? And I think my math is getting better. Uh, let's look at the mystery card. I wonder if this is either going to be the Wheel of Fortune, it's either going to be the Temperance card, the Wheel of Fortune, or the Ace of Cups. If you have a prediction, I hope you'll put it in the comments. And let's see what it is. It's the four. Four of Pentacles. See, what we don't have here is a two to go with this to make that six. You know? Um, so this is kind of us, um, in some ways, this is us clinging to something that's kind of half finished almost. You know, this is, um, this is really the idea that we, okay, we bought the bookshelf, right? And this is the picture on the box. Beautiful bookshelf, just stunning, right? we decide to put it together by ourselves because for whatever reason we're just we're not there's the other person's not there or we're just we're not ready yet to kind of to to express that kind of need and and to get other to get the 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 connections that we want so we're just kind of focused on we're just going to do it ourselves right we end up with this we end up with a bookshelf that it's pretty good. I mean, it'll hold books, but maybe one of the shelves is upside down. Maybe a couple of screws are, are going in the wrong way. Maybe that little thing that you got to nail to the back is, is crooked. You know, um, it's kind of leaning, it's kind of wobbly, but it's okay. It's a little shabby, but it, it works, you know? And then to me, that's the difference. This is good enough. It'll hold the books, but it's not that experience that you wanted. Okay. It's not that experience that you wanted. So this is choice A. Choice B, I think, is that strength card. These are both from the Rider Waite Smith card. These are both those factors, infinite and unknown. Well, now they're known. Now we can see why we got, we've got the, the strength card that came out, and this was kind of the, the volunteer mystery card. So maybe this is one choice, this is the other choice. We can either be brave and, and uh, express what we want right this with this water energy this knight of cups you know ask for what we want ask for help say to the universe say to spirit say to our family or friends what we want and get what we want get that ideal kind of experience which is then going to be more a six of cups than a six of pentacles because we're finding the other half the complement to that three or you could just choose to do it yourself and have something that's a little shabby, but it works just fine. Okay. And I don't mean to say that you we're incapable of producing anything of value or quality by ourselves. That's not what I mean. Okay. That's not what I mean. But I feel like you're sacrificing the experience that you want in life because we're just choosing to say, no, I... I'm not going to ask. They're, they're going to say no. I don't want to go to that party or I'm not going to go out and socialize, you know, today. I'm just, I'm going to stay and just do, do something different. Not because we don't want to, but because we haven't yet activated this courage that just says, okay, I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to express my desires, my wants, my needs. I'm going to express my love and see what happens. Yeah. And I think that's part of us activating our power card and making this choice, right? And now, because there is this air energy here, and I think that this is a little bit of that, that haze, that cloudiness, that fog, 
that maybe we just, maybe we're not really perceiving what it is that we truly want even. So we don't know what the Knight of Cups is even supposed to go do, right? So maybe we need a little bit of clarity for that Prince of Swords, the air on air, the double air card, because that is the obstacle. So I want to do a Language of Flowers um, affirmation card here. And what do we have? The red rose. Courage, right? Strength. Strength, bravery, courage. That, that lust card. Be brave. Be strong. Believe. Okay? Believe that if you, if you express yourself to the universe, that the universe will answer. Right? And I think that really what this whole reading is, is, t is saying is that everything is going to fall into place. The bookshelf will be built to your liking. But more than that the experience will be what you want it to be. It will have that deeper significance, that deeper meaning. Everything is finally falling into place now. And maybe this is because we're discovering what that missing piece was, right? Very interesting. We're going to do an extended reading as well. If you want to stick around, there's a link up top. There's a link down below in the video description. New readings for Sagittarius, usually every Wednesday and Sunday. This is a bonus reading. Been doing a lot of bonus readings lately. Um, I just kind of wait and see what, what spirit prompts me to do. You know? And I feel like Sagittarius, lately you've been needing more bonus readings because sometimes there's just this feeling. I get overwhelmed with a feeling that there's something urgent that you're dealing with right now, something that's well, maybe, maybe unclear for you. And so we do this and see if we can help bring just a little bit of clarity right to you so thank you for being here i appreciate you if you haven't subscribed yet please do it's totally free doesn't cost anything leave a comment for me let me know how you're doing let me know where in the world you're watching from i want you to know sagittarius that you are the most important part of dove and serpent tarot i thank you and i love you and we're all in this together